In this video, we are going to conclude our chapter on discrete random variables and discrete distributions. So a couple of things I forgot to mention about binomial distribution is that expected value of binomial distribution is given as n multiplied by p, where p is a probability of success. And the variance of it is given as npq where q is a probability of failure and is equal to one minus p. Now, uh, if we pay close attention to variance of binomial random variables, then we can see that it's going to attain its maximum value at p is equal to one over two. Uh, so here we have a plot of a pq over p and maximum value is at one over two. You can also confirm that by expanding q as one minus p, taking first derivative, equating it to zero, and you'll find the critical value at p is equal to 0.5. Now, um, as this makes sense, since if we take p that is equal to zero or one, let's say p is equal to one, then let's say we are throwing a coin and probability of landing on heads is equal to one, then if we are throwing a coin thousand times, we'll get a thousand of heads. So there is not much variance to it. And following the simple log a similar logic, if p is equal to zero, then we'll get mostly um, tails. Uh, and uh, we get most variance, uh, most different various results when uh, p is equal to one or two. Now, so uh, here is a plot when p is equal to 0.05. Um, here is a plot when p is equal to 0.95. And it gets more symmetrical and we get most variance at p is equal to one over two. Now Poisson distribution. So in our last video, we have gone through the Poisson distribution. Now uh, we have seen that Poisson distribution is in fact is a binomial distribution in disguise. So if we follow our derivations from binomial to Poisson, we were working with the case when n was large and uh, p was small, uh, which means that Poisson distribution uh, can be approximated by binomial, uh, which means that binomial distribution can be approximated by Poisson distribution. Uh, and this was the main point of uh, Poisson limit theorem uh, that we considered in the last video. Now let's take a look at the following problem. Uh, so we find that four out of thousand women ages 40 to 49 whose mothers have had breast cancer also develop breast cancer over the next year of life. We would expect from large population studies that one in thousand women of this age group will develop a new case of the disease over this period of time. How unusual is this event? Uh, so probably we are looking uh, for ways to find the correlation between uh, mothers and their daughters having breast cancer. So if that event is unusual, then we might suggest that maybe there is some correlation between mothers and daughters having breast cancer. Um, so let's find that. We're looking for binomial random variable X and we're looking for probability X being greater or equal than four. Now, uh, you might be wondering why we are looking for probability that x is greater or equal than four, rather than looking at probability x being exactly equal to four. So the reason for this is following. Um, let me open the following window. So um, let's assume that probability of being hypertensive in population is given as 10%. So let's say probability P is equal to 0.1. And let's assume that um, you have drawn a sample of thousand people and you found that a uh, hundred of those are in fact hypertensive. So thousand out of a hundred out of thousand are hypertensive. Then uh, this result is not unusual since probability of being hypertensive is 10% and you got exactly hundred out of thousand. Uh, however, if we 
calculate the probability of our ran binomial random variable x being equal to exactly 100. Uh, let's see what kind of result we are going to get there. So to find uh, probabilities related to binomial random variable, we use uh, binom dist function. Number of successes is 100, number of trials is 1000, probability of success is 0.1. Uh, cumulative for cumulative, we are going to put false. If we put uh, true for it, uh, we'll get CDF function. If we will put false for it, we'll get exactly PMF for binomial distribution. So I'm looking for probability X being exactly equal to 100. So I will put false here. So this is given as 4.2%, which suggests us that this result is unusual. However, this is not true. We got 100 out of 1,000, right? So that result should not be unusual. But if you are looking for probability that your random variable x, random variable x is exactly equal to that number, uh, then we get uh, this result that uh, this is an unusual event. So rather we should be looking for probability that we will get a um, result as worse as this one, as bad as this one or worse. So we're looking for probability that random variable X is greater or equal um, to 100. To find that probability, we can find one minus probability that our random variable x is uh, less or equal than 99. Uh, so we're looking for probability that our random variable x is less or equal than 99. Uh, I'm going to put true here since now I'm interested in CDF of my binomial random variable. Uh, so one minus that. is 51%. Uh, so now we're talking, this result is not unusual. So similarly, let's come back to our, to our problem here. So we should be looking for probability that our random variable X is greater or equal than four, which is one minus probability X is less or equal than three. Then we have to calculate, um, this huge thing over there and we know that calculating this might get difficult. So we would rather use a Poisson distribution and uh, calculate e to the power of minus lambda rather than calculating those binomial, huge binomial coefficients. Uh, so uh, we find those probabilities and uh, we approximated our binomial distribution by Poisson. And to find probability that X is greater or equal than four, we uh, calculate the following one minus those probabilities from zero to three, where X is a Poisson random variable with mu given as, uh, uh, with mu given as N multiplied by probability of a success in our binomial uh, trials. So we get the following result. Now, uh, why mu should be n multiplied by p? So we want um, uh, we want our Poisson distribution and binomial distribution to have the same expected value. 